Hi, welcome to question 2 of AQA Third Appeal 4 Jan 2013 exam paper. In the first part of this video I'd like you to have a try at the question, so if you'd like to pause the video now and do that. Ok, well, welcome back if you managed to have a try. For the next part of the video I'm going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. In the question here, we're going to um, we know that A and B are three by three matrices, and we're given the determinant of A B. So that's telling me if there was a transformation B followed by a transformation A, the s volume scale factor of that would be 24. So the volume would have increased by a factor of 24. And I'm also told that the determinant of the inverse A matrix, where if I undid the transformation A, that would give me a volume of factor negative 3. So, considering the volumes, um, you should be able to now go on and hopefully be able to answer the rest of this question. So, if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go at doing that. OK, the next part of the video I'm going to go through the answer. So, first of all, it's saying state the value of determinant A. Well, I know the determinant of inverse A is negative 3, so if I undid this transformation A, then that would give me a factor of negative 3. So what I want to do is work out what the determinant of A is. So if I write down the So the determinant of the inverse of A is going to be equal to 1 over the determinant of A. So we know that's going to be minus 3. So determinant of A is going to be equal to minus a third. Okay, and that makes sense because if I undid it and it um, gave me a scale factor of negative 3 for the volume, then applying that transformation must have been a scale factor of minus a third. Okay, part B. We've got a three dimensional shape S with volume 20 centimeters cubed and it's transformed using matrix B. OK, well we know the determinant A is negative third, so in order to make the total um, scale factor 24, I would have to multiply this by a determinant of negative 72. Um, so if I just write that down as the determinant of A, B, must be equal to the determinant of A times by the determinant of B. OK, so and we know the determinant of A is minus a third, and we know the determinant of AB is 24, so 24 is equal to negative a third. And that means that the determinant of B is going to be equal to minus 72. OK, so we want to know what the volume of the image of S is. So it had a volume of 20 centimetres cubed, and that's the scale factor, um, the volume scale factor. So um, that tells me that the volume and it's going to be equal to the positive um, it's going to be a positive value, so I can take 72 as my scale factor times by 20, which was the original volume, and that's going to give me 1440 centimeters cubed. Just to point out that we took the, the positive um, value of the determinant um, because our volume has to be a positive answer. OK, so um, thanks very much for joining me for this question, and I hope to see you again soon.